Now we kicked off this series with a few videos about whirly birds and ventilating the roof cavity. And then we looked at the new national construction code requirements for roof ventilation. Now the thing about roof ventilation, as far as the code is concerned, is that it strictly only applies to the zones in Australia in the climate zones 6, 7 and 8. That is the cooler temperate areas of Australia. So a lot of what we spoke about strictly applied to only a small section of houses in Australia. Now what we're going to cover on this video is the requirements brought about by the National Construction Code on the requirements for health and safety. And this requirement now applies to every single house in Australia, all class one buildings. Now this requirement is brought about by the fact that with roof ventilation we are relying on natural ventilation to keep the roof attic dry. And natural ventilation is quite limited. So whilst natural ventilation can combat things like warm air escaping light fittings and wall vents that will eventually lead to warm air escaping into the roof cavity, there are some really large sources of warm moist air that is produced by all houses that natural ventilation will not be able to cope with. And the code specifically targets bathrooms, kitchens, laundries and toilet areas. The toilet areas are mainly for odour, they want to get rid of the odour, but in the bathrooms, kitchens and in laundries, these produce a lot of warm moist air when they're in operation. And when this large volume of moist air goes into the ceiling cavity, there's no way that natural ventilation can get rid of the moisture quickly enough. So what the code now is stipulating is that all exhaust from kitchens, laundries, bathrooms and toilets must be ventilated out into open air. It cannot be ventilated into your roof cavity. It's got to have its own individual system so that all the moist air is kept separate and it goes from the internal room to the outside air in its own closed environment, normally via a duct. And in addition to this, it's got minimum requirements for how much air has to be expelled. Now it's either 25 litres per second for bathrooms and toilets or 40 litres per second for laundries and kitchens because obviously these produce more steam. So in the old days we'd go to Bunnings and get a fan, uh, get an IXL bathroom fan or any sort of fan and you'd think that you'd cut a hole, install it in your ceiling, get an electrician to wire it up and Bob's your uncle. But that configuration does not comply. And most people going to somewhere like Bunnings to buy that fan can easily get unstuck because you only just get the fan. You don't get the duct or the roof vent that will expel that air out into the open air. So you've only got half the system. So as a bit of a prediction here, I think that companies like IXL or the other manufacturers of bathroom and other exhaust fans would have to come up with a complete system that is the fan, the electricals, the duct and the roof vent because it doesn't make sense just to buy one and then not knowing how to get the other parts. So I can see a big change happening in that part of the industry that they will now no longer just supply the fan, they will have to supply the whole assembly. And at the moment, if you were to go out and buy a fan, you don't get the full assembly. So there's certainly a need for these manufacturers to provide everybody with the full assembly. Now, the question is, what about the existing houses? What do you do to your existing bathroom fans and your kitchen exhaust fans? They all vent into the roof cavity. None of them comply. So how do you get these systems to comply? Obviously you need to be able to connect a duct onto the exhaust part of these fans and run this duct towards a roof vent so that the air can be ventilated into the open air. 
And because there's this lack of this system with the ductwork and the external vent, so is there a retrofit that we can apply that will be able to enclose the exhaust via a duct into a roof vent? Well, at the moment and in the past, there are no such systems available. So we've done some retrofits and what we've done is we've had to buy the ductwork separately and we have had to buy the vent separately and then come up with a system to connect the fan into the duct and then the duct into the roof vent to provide a dedicated exhaust system for bathroom fans. Like this example that we did under a metal roof, they had an IXL fan put in and in this case the owner wanted a little bit of light to come through the fan so that the bathroom wasn't totally in the dark because it had no windows in it. We use a skylight and the skylight had vents in it so it had a dual purpose of providing light, a little bit of light through the bathroom fan and also the skylight had vents in it to enable the air to be expelled to open air. Now we've got another example where we connected a bathroom fan via a dedicated duct to a normal whirlybird. So there are many ways to achieve an independent exhaust system for bathroom, kitchen and laundry vents if you apply your mind to it. But I think we're all waiting for the manufacturers to come up with a system that we can procure that has got the fan, the duct and the vent together. That would certainly make it easier for everyone from this point onwards. Now what about retro? So from a retro point of view, these manufacturers come up with the system where you can do without the fan and they'll sell you the duct to suit what, whatever size exhaust fan and also a roof vent. And in the retrofit instance, all you needed to do was to buy the duct and the roof vent and then you can then retrofit that to any existing fan in Australia. Now how about that? And if that ever happens, we'll all be very happy. Now what do you think our chances are?